When you're sick and when you're weak, you become depressive. It's not the same. I, I, I did my burnout in this way. I, I started being sick and then I had burnouts. But uh, since I, I'm, I'm, I'm working back since four years, uh, I have uh, depressive periods because I want my, my drawings to, to be better. It, it really makes me mad when I can't. Because for me, it's unfair. It's unfair. I want them to be the way I want. Because I lost so much time. I want to catch up the time I lost. I lost five years in my life and all this time I could use to, 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 in, to improve, to evolve, to, to do so many things I couldn't do. And I'm, I'm really frustrated and the frustration can, can lead you to depression. And it's not permanent, it's just like, like gloomy days, you know? Those gloomy days you're like, I'm just a piece of shit. And the day after say, okay, I'm just half a piece of shit. And the day after say, okay, be reasonable. Grab your pen and do something. And you know how it works. It comes back always, not the way you want, but still you've been doing something and it matters in that journey. In this industry, I don't know, I'm not really in the, in, in, in the industry, but being an artist is, is not like you're in prison, you know, there's so many thing, things more difficult than being an artist. Being consistent is the most difficult. Being sure of what you're doing, and in the meantime, not being sure of what you're doing to let enough open windows to evolve, is, is the most difficult. Hmm. Mm, when I struggle too much, I stop. You know, I don't like to suffer. <laughs> Nobody likes. When I struggle, it's, it's, very, it's often because I, I take the problem the, the wrong way. I see the, the drawing I want to do the wrong way. I think it the wrong way. Maybe my brain is tired, maybe it needs rest, maybe I need to watch references, maybe I just need to go out, out and, and do something else. I just need to go out of this inf evil wheel, you know, you you're just bite your tail, you know, all the time. So yeah, the, the tips is just push the, 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 the bad stuff on the side, do something else, whatever, another drawing, go, go to see your friends, go, go cooking, go whatever, take a bath, whatever. It can, it can last one day, it can last two days. I don't, I don't care how long it takes before it comes back because I have the luxury to do that, you know. I, I don't use a lot of money, I don't have a client, I, I don't care, I just work for myself, so it's very comfortable. I can work on this issue. It's not like I've got a, a client by, behind my door knocking, I need the drawing right now! It's not like that. But when I have a client behind the door knocking, asking for his stuff right now, it gives you like, like an adrenaline shot and sometimes you, your brain disconnect and suddenly you produce something. Maybe it's, an, it's not the best thing, but it's efficient enough and it's, it's, it's rendered enough. So the client is, is happy and he's gone. <laughs> so you see, I, I can tell you about my struggles when I, because I work for myself, because I'm alone. But if you have a client, sometimes you struggle, you struggle to the point you can struggle. You, you have no choice. It's like, you are in front of two roads and uh, if you don't choose, you're going to hit the wall in the middle. The wall, the, the, you, if you choose to do nothing, you, well, you will feel guilty, guilty and, but be courageous and take the other road and uh, whatever happens, have to happen. <laughs>